All right, guys, welcome back. Today is day six, the penultimate episode of Review Week, aka the second to last, the almost season finale. So today we're gonna be doing something special and we're gonna be opening the Pizzeria Simulator action figures. But first, let's just take a look at the setup as we usually do. Okay, here we go. Uh, what the? Wait, what? Did I forget to set this up today? Okay, so it seems like the setup is nothing? Um, I didn't plan this. I didn't do this, guys. Where'd the SpongeBob's go? And where'd the figures go and everything else? I was gonna put like the Pine Size Heroes and everything from yesterday. What happened? Well, that's not ominous or concerning at all. I just hope day seven, you know, maybe day seven will be empty too. And maybe we'll be finally rid of the SpongeBob's. <laughs> right guys? Okay, well, mysteries aside, let's just get into the unboxing because today's is pretty exciting. We are opening the Pizzeria Simulator action figures. Now I wanna start off by saying that this is actually my favorite set of FNAF action figures. And that's why I am extremely excited to open these. But also, I'm a little bit worried about opening these because they're worth a lot. Getting sealed versions of these is worth a lot of money. It costed me a good amount to actually buy these sealed. Um, I could have bought them out of box and it would have been a lot cheaper but I figured these are so special to me. This is my favorite series of action figures. I gotta get them sealed to open for you guys. Um, and I'm really excited to build the Build-A-Figure because if you don't know me, I love Scrap Baby. It is probably right now my favorite FNAF character. So we are going to assemble her and we're also going to open the exclusive, the Walmart exclusive Lefty figure, which I have never owned before. As you know, I've owned all the other things before, but I actually, this is my first ever Lefty figure. So I'm excited for this. So actually, why don't we do him first? Because uh, he doesn't have a build a figure and he's probably the least exciting compared to everything else, just because he doesn't have a build a figure and he's uh, a recolor of Freddy. So I actually want to do him first and then we'll get into the Build-A-Figure territory so we can do her last. So this is the only exclusive action figure um, for this wave and it's it's a good one. Um, ooh, that came out really nicely. So one thing I do remember about these figures is that they do not fall apart as easily as the wave ones do. So let's see if that still holds up to today. Okay, so here is Lefty, and he looks pretty cool. I will note that he has like a texture on him. You can probably tell it's like a grainy texture, which is really nice. That is how he looks in game. Another thing I wanna note is that these limbs feel very loose, but also um, stiff. So they are very poseable. You don't have to like, push them and stuff. There's no like hard joints, but they also don't fall off as easily. I'm pulling pretty hard. Okay, so I got that off, but not that easy to pull him apart. Well, maybe, maybe not, but, <laughs> but it's a lot better than wave one was. Uh, this is a great figure. I'm actually very happy to have him. Now let's try the microphone. Oh, and what do you know? He holds the microphone properly. Throwback to episode one where we couldn't get Freddy and Golden Freddy to hold the microphone properly. They have fixed it by this wave and it looks great. It looks fantastic, in fact. Oh, and also you can turn his waist. What a great feature that I wish all the figures had. This is awesome. I didn't know he could do that. So, um, already off to a great start. I love this. This is a great figure. I do recommend getting it. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's in stores anymore, but if you see it online, I say buy it as long as it's cheap. I paid um, a little bit of a, an absurd, a, absurd price for him, but um, don't, don't be like me. <laughs> so now let's get Freddy out of the way because he is basically the exact same as Lefty, uh, except he's brown instead of black, as we all know. Freddy uh, always, usually always has a recolor within his game. This time it's Lefty, usually it's Golden Freddy or Phantom Freddy or, or I mean uh, Shadow Freddy or something like that. Okay, well, this box has been destroyed, unfortunately. I'm actually very sad about that. 
These are the best boxes, if you don't know. I think these are the best box designs for any FNAF figures. So, not a fan of the fact that I am completely destroying them, but we'll live. So, Freddy comes with the baby head, which is very interesting that they separated the body and the head for the Build-A-Figure. Something they don't usually do. And so they actually put the legs into one box, which is really weird to me. I don't know why they put two limbs in one and then separated out the body and the head. Maybe because the body and head are a lot bigger than the legs, but I don't know. Okay, so here is Rockstar Freddy. First thing I'm noticing, my Freddy has some sort of stain, uh, kind of paint smudge on his muzzle, which is a little bit unfortunate. Next thing I'm noticing, the head has a lot of posability. Did Lefty have that? Oh, he did. So that's really interesting because the FNAF 1 figures, as well as the Dreadbear figures, could barely move their heads around. They could only turn them. They could not move them side to side, up and down. So once again, just more proof that this is the best action figure wave. Freddy can also hold his microphone uh, properly, which looks great. I love this series. I wish Funko made a part two to the to this uh, action figure series because these are awesome. They look so good. Now I did notice that this Freddy's arm is a little bit loose and so is Lefty's. So I don't know if there's something about uh, their left arm that is a little bit loose. Um, this figure is also pretty loose in the legs. Makes it a little hard to pose, but it doesn't fall apart as much. The head can move a ton. Waist can turn, which is just a great feature. They definitely did not make enough of the figures able to do that. So, Funko, turn the waists. I want that. Okay, and then we also got the Scrap Baby Head, which, if I do recall, was very hard to attach to the body. So hopefully we're gonna be able to get that attached. Also, I wanna say that every single one of these figures comes with at least one accessory. So this is definitely the greatest value for any action figure wave we've ever gotten. Um, the sister location wave, I don't think, uh, only Baby and Freddy came with microphones. Uh, Ballora came with a stage, so I guess that was good. But Wave 1, Foxy didn't have anything. Um, I'm trying to think. Wave 2, uh, Nightmare Chica didn't have anything. Nightmare Bonnie didn't have anything. Nightmare Foxy didn't have anything. So I think this is the best value wave because every single figure comes with an accessory. Um, and then they're all just really good quality, like I mentioned. Okay, so let's try to pull El Chip out of here. I also want to point out that his box was a lot thicker than the other boxes because his hat is so wide. Okay, so we pulled him out and we lost an arm. Fun fact, every single one of these figures so far have lost this arm when I pulled him out. So here is El Chip. Now, I don't really care for this character too much. It's probably my least favorite one in the wave. I much rather would have preferred Rockstar Bonnie, Rockstar Chica, Happy Frog, Ned Bear, any one of those. Um, I don't really know why they made him, but he's cool, I guess. His hat looks really good. Everything about these figures is super detailed. Um, the characters themselves aren't really that complicated of designs, and so I think that Funko nailed it for once. I said in my FNAF 1 video that I think that Funko has trouble making the characters faces look like they do in the games they always make the bodies look just fine but the faces are always off this time i think they're spot on i think rockstar freddy and lefty look identical to the games now scrap baby's face is a little bit on the less accurate side um mainly because she's super detailed and they would have to do a lot of detail in this tiny little piece of plastic so understandable also super easy to pose with their props i keep saying this but fnaf one figures had such issues holding their things these not so much i mean look at how easy that was now, probably my least favorite one when i rank them at the end he's probably gonna be at the bottom but he looks great um i don't have any flaws with him i think he looks good uh he's posed as well the tail actually helps him stand up because it touches the ground um Great figure, honestly, great figure. If you like El Chip, I don't know why you wouldn't wanna buy this. Um, 
But if you don't like him, I, I, I could see why you would skip it. Because if I didn't need him for the Scrap Baby arm, uh, I probably wouldn't have gotten him. Speaking of that, we have the Scrap Baby arm and claw, which looks absolutely awesome. I love Scrap Baby. I am so excited to put her together once again. Next up, we've got our boy Rockstar Foxy. Now, mine looks like he is kind of coming out of the box. I don't know why that is. I don't know if he's resealed or if he just, that's how he got put in there in the factory. It's a little weird. It also looks like his, his leg is dangling a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. But he comes with the accordion and the other arm for Scrap Baby. So, great value. Like I said, great value. Great action figure set. Absolutely recommend. Feel bad recommending things that are no longer in stores because you can't technically go buy them. But you can get them online, okay? And so, if you find them for a price that you're happy with, I say get it. Now, Foxy does not have zip ties. It doesn't look like there's holes for zip ties, so I guess he just doesn't come with any, which is a little weird. That's also probably the reason that mine was sticking out of the box a little bit. Okay, let me get him out. Like I said, no zip ties on this guy, so he was really loose in the box. Uh, and it's also really apparent that he is super loose in the waist joint. I mean, I could just spin him, which is not common for these figures. Um, very, a little bit weird. Uh, it's okay though. Um, it's better than the legs or something being loose. Um, he has a peg leg, so it might be a little bit harder to get him to stand. Uh, yeah, as you can see, maybe his legs are a little bit loose. So far, probably the worst quality one I've opened. Uh, all his limbs, this one feels super stiff, um, while these ones feel super loose. So, a little bit inconsistent with him. He can move his head a lot, just like the other ones can, which is lovely. I love that. Can you turn the hook? You can turn the hook. As I said with all the other Foxies, you can't turn their hooks. Well, guess what? With this guy, you can. And that is a big plus in my book. He also has the bird on his shoulder, which looks so adorable. Um, I wish you could turn it or take it off, but hey, you know, we can't have everything we want. And now he also comes with the accordion, which you put in his hand like this. Boom. Doesn't look like it's going to fall off there. And then you use the hook in the other to hook into that. So if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first FNAF action figure that can actually use both its hands to hold its prop. Bonnie and all the other Bonnies hold their guitars just with one hand resting over it. Uh, this is the first one that actually holds his prop with two hands and it actually works and he doesn't fall apart. Now I am struggling to get him to stand. Uh, he is wobbling even there. So the peg leg is a little bit faulty. I think it would have helped if he came with a stand of, com of some kind, but you know what? We can't have everything we want, <laughs> like I said. And then we also got the Scrap Baby arm, which looks, once again, awesome. It looks so cool. Can't turn her hand, but it's okay. Uh, it's in a really cool grabbing position, super detailed, not too much paint going on, just red and the uh, silver, but I can't help that uh, she looks awesome. I mean, look at those claws. And so we're coming up to our second last one here, which is Pig Patch. Now he comes with the banjo and two legs, which is, uh, I don't know how many times I have to say it, guys, great deal, great deal. I am not even mad about the price I paid for this set because it is super, super great value. If this was the FNAF 1 set or God forbid the Dreadbear set, I never would have paid as much as I did, but this is a great value. These are all such good figures um, and great characters. Okay, so here's Pig Patch. He does have zip ties. So it seems like the bigger characters have zip ties. Foxy is definitely the thinnest and lightest of the set, and so he did not have zip ties, but this one did. All right, here is our man Pig Patch, probably my least favorite, or I mean my second least favorite besides El Chip. Uh, he is okay. This figure looks good. Um, it's pretty ordinary though. Not too much going on. He has a little curly pigtail, and it's actually a little bit rubbery, so you can move it a little bit. 
Um, the limbs all feel pretty good. The legs are once again a little bit loose, just like all the other ones were. So posing him might be a little hard. The arms are good. There's no shoulder pads on him, so you can move the arms as high as you want. You can make him salute. You can make him hold his prop, which is the banjo. Uh, you can do it just like you do with Bonnie. You put it in one hand like that, and then you put the other hand over, and it looks okay. Um, not a huge fan of how they do these guitars. Uh, they don't really sit in the hands very well, but it's all right. Um, he also has a belly button, which is a little bit weird, I won't lie. I don't know why he has that. I know he probably has it in-game, but I just can't help but find that strange. His head is super posable, just like he uh, the other figures are. So, once again, great value. Uh, and then on top of all that, you're also getting two legs with him, which is just crazy. Um, you're getting a whole third of a character just with him. So, uh, really cool. We'll look more at those when we assemble Scrap Baby. And now it's time for our final figure, Orville Elephant. Orville Elephant actually has the most zip ties out of any figure we've opened. He has a zip tie at his legs, he has one at his waist, and he has one at each hand. And the Scrap Baby body has a zip tie. And the wand prop has a piece of tape over it. So <laughs> they were not kidding around with this figure. I guess they did not want anyone stealing anything from him. <laughs> okay. The last figure of the normal set is Orville Elephant. Great posability in his head. Really good. Just like the other figures. Uh, I think it's expected at this point. Um, the arms, pretty good. Everything does feel a little bit loose on him. He does seem to come apart a little more than the other ones do. And I think it's mostly just because he's a lot heavier with the giant ears and nose. Um, his feet are also a lot shorter than the other character's feet um, because he has the elephant, I guess, hooves or, or just feet. Um, and so they don't have like big toes that stick out. So I could see him toppling over a little bit. Um, but luckily his prop is a tiny little wand. So let's see, does that fit in his hand well? Um, it actually does not. It looks like, yep, it goes right through, which is unfortunate. Um, you could probably put it at an angle like that, but yep, it still falls. Not a fan of that. I like it when they can hold the props they're meant to hold. Um, waist turns 360 degrees as usual. Everything is pretty clean. See, guys, like I said, these figures are not the most detailed, um, and that's just because, well, that's how they are in-game. So I'm not expecting the most detailed, amazing figures from these, but they look exactly like they do in the game, and they are all really good quality and really poseable. But it would have been even greater value if he could hold his freaking prop. I guess you could hold it like that while his arm is down, but where's the fun in that? You want him to hold it up and wave it around and cast spells. All right, you know what time it is. This is why we're all here. This is why I'm here. This is the whole reason I ever started rebuying the FNAF action figures was because I love Scrap Baby. She is the best FNAF design, in, at least in FNAF 6. Um, it's a pretty bold statement to say ever, but she is just awesome, okay? I know it's completely over the top that she has a freaking claw hand, but it's so cool. I can't help it, guys. I can't. I'm a freaking child at heart, all right? So we're going to assemble her. We've got all the pieces here. Let's show them all off because, man, I'm excited. I don't want to let this moment go away too fast. So we've got the head, we got the body, we got the two arms, and we got the two legs. Now let's attach the head first because I remember this being absolutely a pain in the butt to attach and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it while I'm uh, recording. I might have to bring this up to my chest and really push. So let's see if I can get this in here. If I break this, I'm going to be so sad, guys. You don't understand. I'm going to be depressed if I break her. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay. Ooh, that was tough. So we got the head attached to Scrap Baby. That was really, really tough. 
but we got it, it's there. Now let's keep going. <laughs> so let's attach the arms now. First, let's do the claw arm, the freaking coolest thing ever. Ooh, okay, that attached just fine. Nothing broke. Guys, sometimes these ball joints break when you snap them into place, and so a little bit of my soul leaves every time I hear the cracking noise. Okay, two limbs successful so far. Looks great. Let's get the legs. Now, I don't actually know which legs belong with her. Let me grab one of the boxes and let's take a look. So it looks like this leg has some orange there and that leg has some orange at the top. So it looks like this leg goes here. Let's try to get that into place. Actually, it looks like I have this the other way around. There we go. Okay, that leg goes like this. Oh, okay, whew. Every time, guys, every time it snaps, I just get a little concerned. Now, one leg to go, guys. If this breaks, I'm gonna have to buy another freaking Mr. Uh, or I mean, another um, pig patch. So, let's see. Three, two, one. Uh, and it works out in the end. What do you know? So, there she is, the freaking coolest character, Scrap Baby. Now, this figure is super poseable once again. She can turn at the waist, which is something I do not remember this figure being able to do. She also has the all the limbs. You unfortunately cannot turn the uh, hands or the claw um, and the other hand, but you can turn all the limbs. Um, you can, I think you can turn at the joints. Maybe not. That's all right, though. Um, she looks great. I love this figure. I love Scrap Baby. I've been literally just gushing about this character the whole video. Um, here is some art I made of Scrap Baby. It should be on screen right now. I am an aspiring digital artist, and Scrap Baby is one of my favorite FNAF characters, so you knew I was going to draw her. Go check out my art Instagram, by the way, if you want to see more of my FNAF art. So she's also got the roller skates at the bottom, which are super detailed. I mean, this has got to be the most detailed FNAF figure we've ever gotten. This is my favorite FNAF figure ever. This is probably in my top 10 favorite FNAF merch ever. Uh, the figures uh, in the wave look really good, but I don't really care about most of these characters. But this Build-A-Figure alone makes this whole wave worth it. If I could just buy her just for $60, which is the retail price for all of these together, I would just buy her, even if it meant I didn't get the other ones, because she is so awesome. I mean, if, I, if there was any FNAF merch that Funko could restock in 2022, I would say restock the Pizzeria Simulator merch just so people can get this figure. And she is super poseable. She can stand just fine. I mean, great guys, awesome, spectacular, fantastic, superb, out of this world, extraordinary. And in case anybody was interested, here's a comparison to the original baby figure. She is actually a lot taller than her, a lot taller. So look at how huge this figure is compared to the other ones. I mean, come on guys, what else do I need to say? Perfect, perfect character, perfect figure. So let's quickly rank these from worst to best. Right at the bottom, I'm gonna put my man, El Chip. I just don't really care about this character. I don't really like the design. Um, not too much to say. The figure looks good, the figure is good, but just probably one of my least favorite FNAF characters. Then next is Pig Patch. The same kind of goes for him. I just like him a little bit more, I guess. Then next we are going to put, unfortunately it's going to be Foxy. The Foxy figure is really good, but he, mine specifically is just really loose and it's really hard to pose him with the peg leg. So that's why he's next. But out of all these, he's probably the most detailed. Next is Rockstar Freddy. I probably would have put him above Lefty, but he has a little smudge on his face, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, if mine didn't have that, he would look a lot better. Next, I'm going to put Orville. Orville probably would have been at the top besides Scrap Baby, but he has trouble holding his prop, which I'm not a fan of. I like it when they can hold the props they're meant to hold. Next up is the one exclusive Lefty, and he looks awesome. This figure is super poseable. The joints are not that loose. Um, he can do his iconic poses from the game. Just love this figure. Great exclusive. If you guys have any way of getting a hold of him, I say get him. 
And then at the very top, of course, is the Build-A-Figure Scrap Baby. I would have a hundred of these if I could get a hold of them. I love it. It looks amazing. I'm so happy to own it once again. One of my favorite pieces of FNAF merch ever made. So yeah, guys, this was my review of the Pizzeria Simulator action figures. I hope it was worth it because I had to unbox these and destroy a lot of the value of boxed figures by opening them. So <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know how you guys have been enjoying review week today i'm recording this it's actually tuesday which is the second day of review week uh and it is the sanchi plushies and everyone who has been watching the videos has been loving them and leaving all types of kind uh comments and supportive messages and i do appreciate it because it's not um i'll, I'll be honest i was really hesitating on doing this at all uh i was very self-conscious about um coming back and so I'm happy it's working out um I, I really I really like it's not easy for me sometimes to get back into it but right now I feel super comfortable by day six everyone's loving it I'm having fun filming uh and it's very nostalgic going back to all these old things so I hope you guys enjoy I'm really happy I have stuck through with review week uh and I cannot wait to do more uh, daily upload weeks in the future. But of course, this is not the last day. Tomorrow is day seven, the finale of review week, uh, and it is going to be pretty special. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for tomorrow. It'll be uploaded the exact same time that all the other episodes have been uploaded. And maybe at the end of episode seven, there might be a little bit, te a bit, a little bit of a teaser for stuff moving forward, as well as a teaser for the next daily upload week. And one more thing that's worth noting is that we've still got a few action figures here that we never unboxed, um, but the wall is pretty empty now. So we made some good progress, uh, but I'm gonna save the rest of these figures for the future, just in case we ever do a review week two or any other things. If I ever need ideas for a one-off video, I'll just open some of these and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, thanks for watching.